essentially when it comes to skin prep you want to cater to the type of paint that you're going to be using as well as your face and your skin type. I am a naturally very oily, um, oily combination in the t-zone kind of person so I tend to do a lot of skin prep to not only prevent staining but also to ensure that my paint's going to last for a long time. The particular types, the brands that I have are not necessarily what you need to have. You don't have to be as identical as I am. But these are just some examples. I like to use the um, Angel Veil Primer or this is the Hourglass Mineral Veil Dupe, I believe, from NYX. I like to use that. I also like to use the Wet n Wild Water Drop Primer because this is uh, rose water, I should say. I apologize. Um, because this is also pretty moisturizing. I want to make sure that my skin is plenty moisturized so that way if oil does try to break through thinking oh your skin's dry we need to overcompensate for the lack of moisture now nah, we'll have a nice good happy balance. Um, I'm also going to use the Maron Barrier Spray. I've heard people spray this first um, before applying the paint but I like to use two or three different primers all together and then go in and apply, if that makes sense. I also like to apply primers with a brush instead of my fingertips. Even though I do always wash and sanitize my hands before I'm doing any kind of makeup application, I don't like to get product underneath my fingernails because sometimes it's sticky, it's uncomfortable, it's a weird feeling or stuff like that. If you prefer to apply your product with your fingertips, please, I implore you to do so. That's just my personal preference. And then another tip that I use when it comes to prepping for face paint is I like to use a eyeshadow primer in my fine lines. So this is my favorite one for face paint when I need to brighten something. But um, I like to use the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potions. Um, this is Freebase, which is all white. And I like to use this for paint if I need to brighten up that area in some way, shape, or form. I've also got the um, Caffeine color, which is their brownish color. And this is just Urban Decay's brand. Again, there are so many different types out there. You do not have to relegate yourself to one particular brand. This is the main one that I'll be using today. The anti-aging, because regretfully, even though we are an eternal chaos goddess, we are getting older. I like to put in these fine lines, so my smile lines, Left that a little bit right here on the sides of my nostril. And then again below my eyes and of course on my eyes. But I like to go on those particular areas because that's where my fine lines where it is that my skin crinkles when I smile. Resting bitch face keeps you young, Michael Freda. So again, this is typically what it is that I do to prep for face paint. Now we will put the paint on and show you how we take everything off. Alrighty, so now that the paint is all done, pictures have been taken, things have been taken out, it is time to remove said paint. And so this is a little tedious, um, at least for me. Depending upon the type of shade that you're using, there could potentially be some staining, even with all of the skin prep that's been done um, prior. But either way, there's ways around it. What I like to do first is I like to break down my paint. I use the Urban Decay Melt Down Makeup Remover. This is a um, oil base. It is safe for your eyes, which if you know, somebody that you know rubs your eyes a lot, you're not. It's not the end of the world if you get a little bit in your eyes. I'm not saying that you need to spray it directly on your eyes, but if that happens, you're okay. But I like to go ahead break down the first layer of paint with this. Um, it says that you're supposed to spray onto a cotton ball or a hand. 
and then apply to face and wipe away makeup. I will set it first and then let it melt. Then after that, I will go in with some Clinique to take the day off as cleansing milk. This I do apply to my hands and then rub it in and then go from there. Now that the oil has been soaking in and all that good stuff, we'll add the milk, rub dub, scrub, and then go in with microfiber towels. I like these. This particular brand is the Makeup Eraser, and I usually pick up as many of these as I can when I can, but a nice microfiber towel is good. This is a microfiber something from the um, Luch, Luchy, Lux, Lux, I don't know, I got it from BoxyCharm, but I like this also because this is padded and you don't have to worry about a whole bunch of closers or anything like that with these. I go in really aggressive, not aggressively, but I will go as, um, as much coverage as I can with the microfiber towel that I'll go in and clean up whatever else it is that I didn't get with the second item. And then after that, I use another cleanser. This is Fresh Soy Face Cleanser, but this is one that is gentle, and um, that's one reason why I have stuck with it for as many years as I have, because it gently cleans around the eyes. That's why I rocks with the makeup eraser, or at least a microfiber dial, because saw that initial cleanup. Okay. So now, all that's left is just to get the detail around my eyes, which is fine. I usually go in with a cotton round and a gentle micellar cleaner there. So that's it. As you can see, other than the little bit of eyeliner that's left around my eyes, or maybe that's just the intensity of these contacts, I am paint free. The last thing that I would do when it comes to skincare with face paint is I would put on a night mask, a moisturizing overnight mask before I go to sleep just to make sure that my skin hasn't been completely dried out. Um, the serum and the moisturizer, um, these are just stuff that I have, but this is where you would do your heavy skincare. After you've got everything cleansed off, you would again replace that moisture that has been stripped away once you cleanse. The serum I use is from Glow Recipe, it's the plum one. The moisturizer is just a basic one from Walmart. Um, the Clean and Clear Watermelon Gel Moisturizer. In there normally I would tone too, but I um I didn't feel like it. And that that's I like it, so 